name is Brooke Henderson and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a custom animated title screen for your videos using Keynote. The first thing you want to do is find an Apple or a Mac device, whether it's a laptop, a desktop, or an iPad. Keynote is only equipped in Apple devices and so is iMovie, which we will also be using later in this tutorial. So you can go over to your launch pad to see if Keynote and iMovie are installed on your computer. And it looks like iMovie is right here, and then Keynote's right down here. So before opening Keynote, you're going to want to make sure that you have some fonts that you would like to use in your title screen installed. And you can do that by opening your web browser and going to fonts.google.com. And I like to use Google Fonts because these fonts are all free to use for any um, purposes, and you won't have to worry about violating any copyright issues. So go ahead and look through some of these fonts, figure out what kind of fonts that you like you would like to use, and to add them to your font folder, you can click this plus sign right here, and it'll create sort of like a list down here, um, so that when you're finished, you can download them all as a zip file. So once you have all of your font families selected, you can go ahead and open up this tab right here and there's a little download button up in this right hand corner you can go ahead and hit download hit OK and then they will be downloaded into your downloads folder in your finder so go ahead and open by double clicking clicking on some of these folders and you want to download um, all the ones that have .ttf on the ends of them, so you can double click this and hit install font to download each font. then once you're all done with that, they will automatically be added to your fonts folder. The next step is to find a background image that you would like to use for your title screen or any other pictures or graphics that you'd like to, to include on it. And you can do this by opening up a new tab and searching for backgrounds and graphics and then saving them to your desktop. And once you have all of the fonts and images downloaded that you would like to use in your title screen, you can go ahead and open up Keynote, choose New Document, and then you want to choose Wide and then Plain White Presentation. And then when Keynote opens up, it's going to have these default text boxes here. You can go ahead and click on those and delete them by pressing delete on your keyboard. And then you're going to want to add your images and you can do this by either dragging them to Keynote from your desktop or locating the images in your finder.
After all of your images and fonts are in place, the next step is to add animations to each piece. Click on the Animate tab in the top right corner and then click on the item that you want to animate first. In my case, I want to animate the background first. So I'll, I'll click on the background and then I'll click Build In and then Add an Effect. And this will give you a long list of different animation options to choose from and you can preview each option by clicking on each item. So for the background, I think I'm going to choose Fade and Scale. And then you can continue these steps for other elements on the page. You can also adjust the duration of the effect. And once you're all finished with your animations, click on the build order. And this is the order that your animations will play. So go ahead and click on the first one. And you're going to make sure that the start says after transition. The first one always has to be after transition. And then you can click on the following objects and change to like if you want them to be with the first effect or if you want them to be after the first effect. You can also do the same thing if you wish to add any build out animations to your graphics to make them exit the screen in a unique way. But once you are finished playing with your build in and build out transitions, you will need to export the presentation to QuickTime. So go ahead and hit File, and then Export to, and then QuickTime. So it'll bring you to this screen here. You want to make sure that the playback is self-playing and you can adjust the time for however long you would like to go to the next slide, the next build. And then I would save the format as 1080p if possible. And then hit next. In the file, California, title screen. and then you should be good to go. So the next step would be to open iMovie or any other video making software of your choice. And then you want to hit the plus sign to make a new movie. And I will choose the no theme option and then create this as California. Click OK. And then you're going to want to import your customized title screen that you saved. And then once the file has been imported, it will be in this imported media section in iMovie up here. You can go ahead and click to drag across your entire title screen and then drag that down to your video timeline. You can test the video title screen by placing your cursor at the beginning of the clip and then pressing the play button over here.
And then you can also adjust the length of your title screen, like how long you want it to be by dragging the clip to be longer or shorter. You can also add transitions after your title screen if you choose if you chose not to add any build out effects and you can go up here to the transitions tab and I usually like to stick with the first four like the cross dissolve, the cross blur, the cross to black and then fade to white. So I'm just going to use the cross dissolve and I will drag that down after my title screen and then the title screen will exit in a softer way. And now you're finally finished. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned how to make your videos a little more unique by making a customized animated title screen.